We're introducing our new E-band uh, product. And you know, this is like uh, they say in boxing, a good big one always beats a good small one. In this instance, it gives our uh, mobile uh, uh, operator customers more reach, bigger capacity, 10 times the capacity, up to two and a half gigabits of capacity at one tenth of the, the normal spectrum cost. In one instance, this um, analogy doesn't quite work because we're also bringing it forward in the smallest industry package uh, available. Our Harmony E-Band product works in the 70-80 gigahertz band and has five applications that are enabled by it. The first and most important is mobile backhaul. It acts as a very good high capacity solution for mobile operators for traditional backhaul, but as an alternative to microwave frequencies in the 23 to 38 gigahertz band. The second is for high capacity WISP backhaul as extensions to their network for enterprises. The third is as a fiber extension in either campus environments or enterprise environments to connect businesses together. It also works very well in a small cell environment, especially in the aggregation links, so delivering very high capacity aggregation links out of street level up to a building top or nearby fiber point. Lastly, and a new application, is CIPRI backhaul. So you can use the, our product for CIPRI as a distributed antenna system, so as an alternative to fiber for DAS applications. Harmony E-Band's key feature is the reach extender. This is what really enables it to be suitable for mobile backhaul applications. There's three key elements that enable the reach extender. The first is WMA, which is Waveform Modulation Adaptivity. WMA switches modulations from 64 QAM down to BPSK during a rain fade event. If that's not enough, we'll then adapt the waveform from a 500 MHz channel all the way down to a 25 MHz channel to provide a, up to additional 12 dB of system gain. This is very key to extending the reach of the system. Next, we use MIMO, but for a very different application than what it's traditionally used for. Instead of using MIMO for capacity, like it's used in LTE, we're using it for reach. So we're transmitting the same signal twice, and through that we get an additional 7 to 9 dB of system gain. In the 7080 GHz band, we can do this over two antennas that are spaced so close, we can package them into a single unit and make it very compact and deployable. The last is that we have very high system gain in, a, in our unit, which allows for long reach as well. This combination of features really expands the 7080 GHz application space to be very comparable to the linked range of 23 to 38 GHz. The reach extender enables reaches of 4 to 6 kilometers in the study that we've done, which is at 4.9's link availability in a European market. The reach can even expand beyond this at lower availabilities, up to 7 kilometers. We went and mapped this across a European network, and uh, by doing so in this mobile network, we looked at how many existing microwave links could be replaced with the E-band links. We looked at this, and none of the 15 to 18 gigahertz links could be replaced because this is a very long reach band. However, 55% of the 23 gigahertz links could be replaced, 70% uh, of the 26 gigahertz links could be replaced, and 99% of the 38 gigahertz links could be replaced. So in aggregate, we're able to replace 75% of the 23 to 38 gigahertz links. This is a key value proposition for operators because it allows us to, to replace our existing links that are limited to 28 megahertz and 200 megabits capacity with a new 2.5 gigabit link, giving them 10 times the capacity in much lower spectrum at one-tenth the cost. 